Hello everybody, welcome to Bass Pro Shops. It's right here where you're sure to find everything you could possibly need for fishing and hunting and anything in the great outdoors. You know, we're really proud that Bass Pro Shops is a cherished and longtime sponsor of Bill Dance Outdoors. And let me tell you about a show we recently shot titled Social Media Day. It's just another in our episodes in which I answer a lot of the best fishing questions we receive from viewers. And I'm proud to say they have proven to be very popular with viewers over the years. And I really like doing them because they can be taped while I'm actually out there on the water fishing. Now we taped this particular show when jigging for bass and had a tremendous success using Bass Pro Shops, Pro Series, and Ticer Series football jig spiced with their two and three quarter inch swimming elite chunk. Now, the enticer jig has a football shaped head that keeps their wide gap laser sharp hook riding up. And it also features a quality 44 strand silicone skirt. Now, the swimming elite chunk features high action claws and legs that extend the bait and gives it an eye catching fall rate. Now trust me, this combo offers bass a natural looking treat they absolutely can't resist. It truly is one of my favorites. Now here's just an example question from a viewer that we'll address in the show, Social Media Day. Bill, in one of your past shows, I remember how you told how to estimate the weight of a bass if you have no scales in the boat, but I forgot what it was. Can you please repeat it? No problem, but today, I'm going to make it even easier. You know, there's several formulas out there for estimating the weight of a bass when you have no scales, but most of them require the length and the girth of the fish. It's probably one of those older formulas I told you about before, but recently I learned a new one that's just as accurate and all you need to measure is the length of the fish. That's good because most fishermen carry a ruler of some type on their boat because of the legal length restrictions. Here's the best formula. Just measure the length of your bass and then multiply the length times the length times the length and then divide by 1600. In other words, let's say you catch a bass that's 20 inches long. You simply multiply 20 times 20 times 20 and you'll get a total of 8,000. Divide that by 1600 and bingo, you'll see that your bass weighs about five pounds. Using this measuring system is really quite remarkable. It'll really surprise you how close it can be. Is it perfect? No, but it will give you a pretty good idea. It won't miss it a lot. But he's not going, oh good night, look at that. Oh my gosh. Woo-hoo! I knew he was good when he came up on that other side. There's some big old fish on these points. Come here, just turn around. Whoppo! <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I see you looking at me. I see you looking at me. There will be more great questions from viewers like you, and I'll try to answer them as best I can as we jig along. Thanks for stopping by today, and be sure to visit Bass Pro Shops often. It's definitely the place to find all your outdoor needs. We look forward to seeing you here next time.